All right, we're at 7317. I will look up the street later. All right, the outside siding seems to be in pretty good shape. I don't know if it's masonite or hardy plank, um, but if it was masonite, it probably has been replaced with hardy plank or at least damaged boards. You sit here kind of right before you get to the cul-de-sac. Looks like there's other people who have got an appointment to see the house. You first walk in, you've got this like parquet wood floor here, and then stairs that go right up. To the right, you've got the dining room. And here you've got like a laminate wood floor. Actually, I think that's a hardwood floor. Yeah, it's actually real hardwoods. Um, you go here into the kitchen. The appliances look good, cabinets look good, countertops look good. Got a nice little subway tile backsplash. Sink's a little shallow. Other than that, everything looks good. And then you've got the breakfast area. Nope, oh, washer dryer. And some storage. So they stack that to give you a little more space. Then here you've got the family room. This is a laminate wood floor. It looks like they've got gas logs in the fireplace. Yep. It does have like older wood windows. You can see like some of them the steel has failed on. So probably not a huge thing to do right now, but you'd probably want to look into replacing the windows at some point. All right, you've got a nice back deck, fenced in yard. All right, so you back up to Litchford Road, which is a busy road, although it's not like a huge thoroughfare. You do, you know, it's definitely a main road. You can see this is probably one of the busier times. You can hear the cars go by. The siding around the chimney looks good. You get a little bit of rot down there by the uh, at the bottom of the trim pieces. The roof looks pretty good. Actually, I'm gonna stand out here for just a minute. I'll just let you listen to cars go by over a 30 second period or so. about 45 seconds. All right, you've got your coat closet. I see they have what I think are Elsa shelves. Um, some of the rooms do not have overhead lights in them. It's got a really nice first floor bathroom. So now this one is shared between the master bathroom and anybody who might be a guest. So that door there goes to the master bedroom. And that's over here on this side. So that is a little weird thing about the floor plan. Not my favorite, but. And then again, it's got the nice closet shelves in here too. All right, and then you're back at the front door. All right, the carpet is definitely older. I don't really see much in the way of stains. I mean, you can kind of tell around the edges that it's older. Um, it feels okay. I mean, I think they just had it shampooed. It's probably something you could maybe rent once the way it is and then maybe have it replaced. So the room's upstairs. You've got two bedrooms and a um, shared bathroom plus some storage areas. So in here, let's see. Would you like all right, you've got a little floored storage off of this room. All right, 
This is like a peel and stick tile here in the upstairs bathroom. And it actually is in really good shape. Um, I wouldn't normally make that kind of material, but it looks nice in here. Right. The carpet's very thick. It makes it hard for all the doors to open. But we've got a linen closet here. Again, you don't really have light in this bedroom. They're all really good sized bedrooms. Big closet here. And then here you've got like a huge storage area. It goes all the way down to the end on both sides. Get a little extra flooring. 